Okay, now, panel, you're putting your blindfolds on. Gene, I don't think you are. Just once, but I have a little edge. <laughs> no, 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 blindfolds on. Are they all in place? Okay, will our mystery guest enter and sign in, please? Well, mystery guest, I, I recognize you, but I've never seen you with glasses on before. Why are you wearing them? Well, I'll tell you something, Larry. With the kind of summer we had back east here, I wanted to come prepared. Get a close-up of this, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, panel, it's one question at a time now. We'll give you three minutes to establish the identity of our mystery guest, and we'll start the questioning with Melba Tolliver. I think you tried to throw us off with that bit about the glasses, Larry. Our guest doesn't wear glasses. But did I understand you to say that you uh, uh, are now on the, uh, the West Coast or living now on the West Coast? Well, I live a little bit everywhere. I'm a traveler. Are uh, you known primarily for your work Well, one question films? at a time, so oh. we move on to Soupy. Right. Soup? Uh, are you uh, currently appearing in a vehicle? in town. I mean, not a cab. Yeah, but, uh, that's a, no, I mean, are you in a show that's playing on Broadway? No, not at the present, but I think I'm going to make a sequel to The Godfather, and since I'm a sissy, we're going to call it The Godmother. <laughs> hey, Donna? Um, do we know you from your appearances on television? Well, all depends on what kind of memory you got, baby. <laughs> in partly. Gene? Are you currently playing in a movie in New York City? No, not currently. Uh, I made a movie, but they kept the movie and released me. Okay, two down and one to go. Melba? Gene, I'm sorry. Gene? No, I just asked. You did? Did you ask that? <laughs> Melba. It sounded like Melba. It sounded it like me. Yeah. Um, are you uh, currently appearing in a, a, a production off-Broadway? No, I'm not currently appearing in any place, baby. Three down and seven to go, Sue. Gee, we both have the same agents. <laughs> um, <laughs> It, uh, oh, no, then you, you mentioned something. Uh, were you, did you once have your own television show? Yeah, I once had my own television show. Donna? You make a couple of more cracks like that, and I'm going to give you a contract you can't refuse. <laughs> Donna? Oh, do you sing? With a voice like that, how can you say no? Do I sing? Well, he isn't really known as a singer, <laughs> I wouldn't say. Not known as a singer, not like Sergio Franchi, no. Four down and six to go, Gene. Wow. I am really stuck. The man doesn't work. <laughs> I, um, I think he's got everybody fooled. He's really very good at this. It's probably a girl. <laughs> Let's flip them all over, take off the blindfolds, and meet Peter Lynn Hayes. Oh, my. <laughs> Peter is really living in Las Vegas now with his wife, actress Mary Healy. Then he's just here for a visit. We have a lot of fond memories together because Larry and I were in uh, Who Was That Lady I Saw You With? And I want to congratulate you on the tremendous success of uh, On My Way to Decorum or something like that. Close enough for jazz. <laughs> it was a delight working with him, I must tell you. He was marvelous. One night we had a snowstorm in Philadelphia and the audience was coming down the aisles at us and Peter blanched. And I said, what's the matter, Peter? Why are you, what happened to you in the scene? He said, I'm from nightclubs, and when they come down the aisles after you, they're coming for you. <laughs> Didn't something happen to you like that once, Peter? Oh, uh, yeah, we were held up at the Mounds Club in Cleveland by 14 men who stayed 45 minutes. That's the kind of people we used to draw in supper clubs, and that's why we're out of them now. What are you doing now, Peter? Are you retired, or are you just... We're sort of semi-retired and refer to ourselves as Ma and Pa Kettle of, uh, of Las Vegas, and we live in <laughs> Westchester five months a year and seven months a year in Las Vegas, and our son just got married, and our daughter's about to get married, and how are your children? They're doing all right. You um, want them? <laughs> <laughs> What's your address? <laughs> you still got your tugboat? No, I sold the tugboat, Gene. I watch you, though, in Las Vegas, and I think you're... You're terribly clever and... Oh, you almost stopped there. <laughs> I, I remember you for a long time, too, before you grew the handlebars. Peter, what happened with the, uh, with the radio show? Are you going to do another one of those, or have you decided not to do it? No, no, they got wise to us, and uh, so we... Uh, actually, it was wonderful for us for six years on WOR here locally because it uh, gave us those traumatic years with our teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all grown now, and happily... Uh, I think everything's going to work out. Our son just went to work in systems engineering over at CBS. That's terrific, Remember Peter. And you're looking baby bug. Yes, I do. And you're, listen, thank you for coming and eating six with us. Six foot four, and I'm four foot six. <laughs> okay, thanks, Peter. Don't... Oh, 
What's my line continues right after this word. <laughs> Panel, you did beautifully today. You're about 333. Maybe we can fool you better tomorrow. In the meantime, goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget to be with us every day on What's My Line. Goodbye. <laughs> Speaking for What's My Line, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.